All right, hello everyone, and peace of the Lord, the Messiah, the Christ, the Savior for all of you. Yesterday, we have some uh, Muhammadan who called us, and one of them he was so upset because I'm using the Muslim logic to answer them. Uh, and by the way, those who don't find the videos in my channel no more, you can find it by going to Patreon and you click at the same title, you will find the link for the video which you missed. So anytime you find the video is gone, you can find it still in Patreon. All right, just to make it easier for you. Yesterday, the Muslims were upset because I'm using their logic. To know that you're ready to listen to a question because most of the time you don't listen, so I'm just asking My friend, you that. I first. am here listening. Nobody is forcing you to stop talking. I'm asking you now. You say oh. to me a question. The Are you correct question. about everything you see about Islam? I say yes. Prove me wrong. Fantastic. Okay, fantastic. The first question of mine to you is: there is a debate of yours on YouTube, which I just saw yesterday, with uh, some person called Imam Khalim or Khalil. Mm, I don't remember. Okay. Anyway, there is. A there is a debate. You can just go check. If you try, if you type on the YouTube Christian Prince debate, mm. the first video, or I, I don't know, fifth or the fourth video is that video, mm. where that person uh, tells you that uh, Jesus got crucified, therefore he cannot be a God. Mm. Okay. And then you tell him that uh, who, who told and you, you both argue. And finally, what you do is instead of answering him, with your context, with your text, and with the reference to Bible, you go and pick the Quranic te text and say that, yes, Allah changed his shape from one form to another. He, Allah is going to change his shape from one form to another form. Mm. And uh, he, you were trying to pose this question on him, but he did not answer. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. You, you see your methodology. He asked you a question of Jesus. Mm. Okay. As mentioned in the Bible, mm. but to prove him, you went to the Quranic text and you put a question from there. You shifted the topic from one to another. Mm. Okay. Can I answer now? You from Allah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, he just said that when I got the Abdul, the Imam, which is supposed to be a Sheikh, when we say Imam, it's mean a Sheikh. When I got the Sheikh busted, he could not answer me. He just said that. I gave him the answer from his Quran and he could not answer. So he's asking why you do that? Why you get us busted from our book? I mean, why you do this? Don't this get us out busted from our book? Don't show us that we are a bunch of fool. Please don't use our book. Don't use our logic. And later he said, actually, he said literally, don't use our logic. You can watch this video you can go to patreon you can click at the last video there and you will see what uh, you can watch the whole thing it is about an hour and 20 uh, 21 minute or 20 uh, i think an hour 18 minute from the beginning of the video now today we have a new muhammadan in the chat he is uh, he became addicted to us and he come every day his name is fadi before i started fadi he posted something in the text in the chat now most of you don't speak Arabic but for me Arabic is my first language so what Fadi he said just to show you how stupid the logic of Muslims and why they don't want us to use their logic this is what mr. Fadi he said to us in the chat let us go and see that in the Quran so we can laugh together at the stupid logic of Muhammad and his God. Not only the Muslim themselves, they have a funny, stupid logic, outdated logic, cave time logic, which is not even for somebody have a low IQ, for somebody have no IQ at all. And you will see in a second how this guy who posted this, he will regret posting this to us. He will be upset. He will say to me, please don't post it again. Please don't read it again. Please don't explain it again. This is stupid. Let us go to the Quran. And by the way, if any Muhammadan here in the bushes, feel free to call me. Chapter 
2 verse 120 this is where he got this quotation from never will the Jews or the Christians be satisfied with thee unless you follow their form of religion how many of you notice that this is a stupid statement and why let us see how many of you will notice why this is a very stupid statement from somebody claimed to be Allah his God to say this actually this verse here proving to us Muhammad to be a false prophet anyone notice who of you notice what's the problem here there's a big problem proving Muhammad to be a false prophet between two bracket false prophet Muhammad he just made a false prophecy he said the Jews neither the Christians will convert to Islam correct this is what it says never the Jews never the Christians will be satisfied with thee unless you follow them they will not follow you so how you Muslim you make a video for us of somebody converted to Islam today how you say to us there is a priest he converted to Islam when your prophet said never never ever Are you getting the point so this is a false prophecy there's a guy very famous in Muslims his name is Kabul Ahbar he became a Muslim supposedly so how Muhammad he says never the Christians never the Jews will be satisfied with the, with you unless you follow their religion secondly there's a second mistake anyone knows what is a mistake second mistake in this statement let us highlight the stupidity stupid number one never the Jews and the Christians okay mistake number two follow their religion and here I'm going to help you it's about the Jews anyone want to tell me what is the mistake here no it does necessarily mean it says the word never Guys, look what this guy he's trying to defend. Look at the look at the look at the ignorance. Look, look. He is the one who posted this. You posted this to us, right? You a second ago, you idiot, you posted this to us. So now you are saying to me, this doesn't mean that uh, you, you will not accept. A second ago, you posted to us, saying to us, okay, you Christian, you will never be satisfied. Do you see why they say don't use our logic? And now you are saying to us, it says they will never be satisfied unless we follow their religion. That's true. true. That's what it says. That's mean they will never be satisfied. Never. They, they, all of them. He did not say some of the Jews, some of the Christians. He said the Jews, the Christians will never be satisfied. So, and you are the one who posed for us this statement. To tell us something what is the message that we will never be satisfied with Muhammad unless he follow our religion and that is a stupid by the way because Muhammad is dead secondly your idiot prophet don't he knew that you cannot convert to Judaism how you can follow the Jews can you convert and be a Jew no you cannot Maybe you might see here like some places in America because this is a free country people do whatever they want and and, and, the, and the Jews now in number they are shrinking so they are trying to gain more people but you cannot convert to be a Jew a Jew is the children of Israel even your city Quran called them the children of Israel can you convert to be a children of Israel I mean how silly your God is he called them the children of Israel and then he says you will never be satisfied with you unless you convert to the religion why can you be Jew can you be a Jew in Islam according to Muhammad no you cannot because the Jews are not an, a religion only they are an ethnic group 
and they are the children of a man and this is what your Quran is saying Ya Bani Israel you see all those chapters all of them saying Bani Israel children of Israel children of Israel children of Israel all of them so how he says you never know unless you follow the religion can you follow the religion of the Jews you cannot because in order to be a Jew you have to be from the children of Israel and this is why the Muhammadan they get upset when we use their logic to get them busted secondly the same verse you gave me I can use it against you oh the Muslims will never be satisfied unless you uh, if uh, you follow their religion actually this is what the Quran is teaching from the beginning to the end chapter 5 verse 51 take not Christians and Jews as a friends verses of hate chapter 9 verse 23 take not your brothers and your father from your blood as a friends or protectors verses of hate chapter 3 verse 28 take not the disbelievers as a friends unless you are lying to them verses of taqiyya and deception So this is why a Muhammad and he get upset from using our logic and just to show you how stupid the Quran Okay, I'm going to use the logic of Allah I am going to use the logic of Allah the Quran says that children of Israel. Okay, Allah. I'm using your logic. Who are who is Israel? Just to show you that this 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 book is not a book. It's a yellow pages. It's like there's a name in the yellow pages. It says Israel but who even Israel is better they give you first name last name where he lived the address the phone number who is Israel who is a Muhammadan hey Fadi uh, Fadi in the bushes I want you to call your mama or your daddy and ask him who is this guy the Quran keep calling him Israel Who is this guy? Have you ever heard of a holy book? Do not know, do not introduce, don't tell us who is this person. Israel, who is Israel? And this is a very important figure in the Quran to the point his name repeated all over the Quran. So who is this guy? Should you tell us? People, they are telling me Jacob. I mean, this is not the question, my friend. In the Quran, who is this guy? We knew who is Israel. We are asking the Muslims, use your brain. Who is this guy in your book? I have the Quran in front of me. And the Quran keeps saying to me, children of Israel, children of Israel, children of Israel. Okay, shouldn't you say to us who is Israel first? Who is Israel? Any Muslim can tell us? Where we can find the answer for a some I a mean, simple question? How in the world God He says the children of etc. But He don't say to us etc. Who? Hmm? Who was Israel? People they keep saying to me Jacob, 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 Jacob. I know the name. This is not the question. I mean, what's wrong with people? We knew who is he, but this is from the Bible. I'm talking about the stupid cult of Islam. They keep saying to us that children of Israel, who is Israel? Who is a Muslim can tell me how we can find out who is Israel? Are you going to open my book so you can find out? How this book can be a book of God? Any Muhammadan? It is not clearly stated in the Quran. No, it's not stated at all. Don't tell me it's not clearly. I mean, some people, their comment is really funny. You see, English is not my first language, but sometimes I find my English is a lot better than many people. I don't know why. 
What do you mean not clearly stated in the Quran? It does not say anything in the Quran. You see, when you make those statements, it means you are not using a deep thinking. You are not thinking. You are just typing. What clearly? It just says the children of Israel. Okay, who is Israel? Can you debate Imam Muhammad Tawhidi? First of all, he is not an Imam. Secondly, he is not a Tawhidi. Number three, he is a potato. And I challenged him long time ago to debate me, and he will never get close to me. They line up to talk to David Wood, but they will never get close to me. What make him Imam? This guy, he does not even know how to read the Quran. Any Abdul want to answer us? Any Muhammadan in the bushes? What happened to this guy, Fadi? What happened? Fadi, are you searching Google with peace upon him? Who is so when they say to you, don't use our logic because their logic is stupid? Let us tell you the logic of Allah. The logic of Allah, if you go and do jihad and kill people for me, I will give you endless penis and big vagina and endless number of women for sex. That is logic. And that's God. And that is heaven. That is logic. This is logic. The logic of Islam, the Jews, they did fishing in Saturday, so Allah made them pigs and monkeys. That's logic. Why you do fishing in Saturday, you idiot? Don't you know that the, doing fishing in Saturday because you're hungry, Allah will, will make you a pig? People, they are raping, people are killing, people, they are raping children, and Allah did not make any of them pig or a monkey. For fishing in Saturday, Allah, he made the nation pigs and monkeys. That is a logic. What kind of logic this logic is? <clears throat> hmm? They did fishing in Saturday and, and the funny, Allah, he made the fish disappear all the week. And only in Saturday, the fish, they come in the top of the water and they start dancing. Ah, 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 we are here. That is logic. The jail is full of people who rape women, rape children, kill, kidnap, <clears throat> drug dealers. And Allah will make you a pig and a monkey for fishing in Saturday. It must be a true story. Actually, to be honest with you, I have a neighbor who is a Jew. His name is Jack Shalom. Jack Shalom, I saw him last Saturday going in his truck and he have a fishing rod with him. I said, Jack, Habibi, Habibi, Jack. Habibi, Jack, don't fish Saturday, Saturday, Habibi. Jack, he did not listen to me. He decided to go to the beach. He came back and he opened the door of his truck and I look at his feet. I swear by Allah, his feet is a feet of a monkey brother. And instead of saying to me, hello, Christian Prince, he said to me, ha, 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 ha. and I said, what happened? What happened? He said, ha, 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 ha. which means he did fishing on Saturday and he did not listen to me. Translation. So why the Jews are fishing today in Saturday and nobody is making them pigs and monkeys? This is why the Muhammadan, they don't want you to use their logic because it's a stupid logic. Right? Any Muslim have a logic? Can beat the logic of Allah? 
Who can be the stupidity of Allah? Somebody he said to me, he said to you, you need to call Zakir Naik. Okay, well, well, okay, I will call Zakir Naik. Give me his Skype. I will call him. We offer him a debate. The coward. He said to he said, I have to invite two thousand people and fly to Bangladesh. Who wanna go with me? The Christian prince is so rich he can pay for a ticket of two thousand people. The same as many of them. Uh, if you are a man, come to the speaker corner. <laughs> My friend, we call Zach and Nike every day, and he gave us the answer. We are Zach and Naik. Zach and Naik, why Allah he made the Jews pigs and monkeys for fishing in Saturday? He said, Brother Sister, it's very well known that if you do fish in Saturday and you are a dude, Allah will make you a pig and a monkey. And actually, I went to Israel and I saw in the do a lot of do it who became monkeys. And this is proven scientifically. There is a scientist from the pan, his name is Yama Adukadik Amri Yama. And he studied the case and he found that this is true that the monkey today they have a DNA of the dude. And this is proven to be accurate. And it's very local. Like what? Here we go. We got your Zaka Mike. What do you want more? There's a Muslim, he have a video, he's a doctor from Gaza. He was saying why we should not eat a pork. And he come with the conclusion because if you eat a pork, you eat a Jew. I mean, do you see the logic and the intelligence of this cult? It's like when you join this cult, you became infected with the brain. Any Abdul? Hello. Who is a Muhammadan willing, is willing to call us and tell us about the logic? What is the logic of Allah making the Jews pigs and monkeys for fishing in Saturday? What is that? What happened exactly? People, they commit sin every day. Every day. Why if you are a Jew and you broke the Sabbath Allah will make you a pig what about killing you kill anyone who commits sin okay kill me I commit sin kill me Allah go why only the Jews Allah will will, will will do that to them why at that time when the Jews they were supposedly the Jews they are the only one who worship God so what about Allah destroying those who don't worship God they are fishing all the week <laughs> including Saturday <laughs> any Mohammedan thank you thank you Katazayana he was Katazayana can you make your name uh, 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 like easier because in in the Middle East our logic is not to read uh, 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 long names unless they are Arabian you know guys when I used to be in the school like when I was a kid the first day in the school, the teacher, uh, he asked every student to stand up and say his name. And our Arabian names is like a train. You know a train? Literally like a train. Muhammad ibn Hassan ibn Ahmad ibn Abdul 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 the son of 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 the son. So by the time one student, he finished saying his name, you feel asleep. Already you are yawning. So imagine you have a bigger classroom, have 40 whatever student, and all of them one by one have to say his full name. Actually, I remember first time I went to the movie. It was first time I go to the movie as an Arab. By the time I finished saying Assalamu Alaikum, shaking hand with everybody in the movie, the movie was over. So please don't do that with me. Did Fadi say something? My ID in Skype, Fadi Haruni. Are you serious? Your name is Haruni. Do you know what Harun mean? Is that really your last name, Harun? You are a male cat. Man, what a name! Okay, let me find your name. Let us see if you are truthful. Fadi Haruni. 
Mm, here we go. I found you. Let me call you Haruni. Answer. Hello. Hello. Yes, Mr. Fadi, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Can you speak how louder, you? please, a little bit? Uh, hello. Yeah, if maybe you need to get a close more to the microphone. Just a minute. Yes, All you right. can hear me now. Yeah, I do. So uh, thank you for uh, for answering the call. Uh, and they are live on YouTube. Everybody can hear you. So, Mr. Fadi, what is the logic behind that the Jews, Allah, he made them uh, pigs and monkeys for fishing in Saturday? Well, honestly, I don't know a lot about that. But uh, what do you know I about what? So, so what do you mean you are expert uh, in what? I don't know. Hold on. You do not know a lot about that. So your expert is where? No, it's not. Uh, it's not about my experts in something else. Mm. It's just I haven't read about that a lot. You never you read know? a lot about that. Ah, yes, okay. about this. Issue. Okay, give me a but question. Is, give me a question to ask you something you read a lot about it. Give me your question. No, no. Me, which means no, you, uh, you asked me to ask you something. You know, no, 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 no. Please, please, no. I don't want you to speak about something you have no expertise because obviously you never did fishing in your life. I'm asking you now. Give me a question of your choice. Say, Christian Prince, I challenge you to ask me this question. Go ahead. Something you know how to answer correctly, perfectly. Go ahead. Well, let's go back to what you said yesterday about the semen coming from uh, in right. between the backbone and the ribs. Okay, good. Hmm. So what about it? Yes, you keep uh, falsely uh, like explaining this verse or giving it... Hmm. Uh, a different tafsir because it's uh, simply and clearly says that uh, semen mm. that creates the human being comes from in between the backbone and the ribs mm. it's uh, somewhere between the backbone and the ribs mm. and if you check uh, uh, like the modern science or what the modern, modern medicine no 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 give me the modern says, science. you see always you muslims you, you you fabricate articles you say is if you check more uh, modern science so let no, me, no. let's hold, hold on, hold on. Let's step by step. When the Quran says between the backbone and the ribs, is the Quran speaking about one individual? Yes. Okay, the backbone of the who? Well, uh, the previous ayah it says, This is another the question. The backbone, the, bone, the backbone, the backbone of who? The male or the female? Uh, the male. Okay, and the ribs of who? The man. Okay, so you are saying to me the Quran is giving us ex extremely nice details about where the sperm is coming from, from the backbone. No, hold on, hold, hold, hold on. What, the whole. what? 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 Not the sperm, the semen. No, that's false, my friend, because this is a ma on dafiq. Ma on dafiq okay. is the water. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Tell me what, hold what's on. the difference hold, between hold semen and uh, sperm? Okay. What's the difference the the between the, the sperm? Uh, the sperm okay. is the liquid, is the water which is carrying a lot of semen. And the Quran says, and okay. From where, from where does, does uh, this uh, water come from? Where the water came from? You tell me where the water came from. From the seminal vesicles, which is located okay. between the ribs and the backbone. My friend, I'm so glad you said to me between the backbone and the ribs, th there's a place for it or no? Yes. W what is the place? Well, for the past week, I have been telling you in the chat, if you search for the seminal biscuit on Google... No, no, where is the place? Where is the place? Where is the place located? Don't tell me from here to here. This is the whole body. There's nothing left. What a human being? What is a human being? What is left is legs and arms. So when you say to me, no, from between no, the ribs... say from the legs and arms. Okay, first of all... No, it doesn't, for, first, it doesn't of, first of all, all first of all, first of all, first of all, you are a liar. Why? Because none of the Muslims, including your prophet, say that this is about the male only can you show me where you get this interpretation that the quran is speaking about the male bark bone and the ribs of the male the one individual can you show me where you get this from well the quran always says that uh don't tell me don't tell me well uh, well don't tell me well may allah will you i want a reference where the interpretation which agree with you that this is about the backbone of the male and the ribs of the male otherwise you are a fabricator 
No, no, it's not a fabrication. Then give me the reference. You you, you no, rely, rely, no, no, you no, no, don't give me a speech. You see, Fadi, I'm, 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 going to, I'm going to spank you, and you will not leave until you are read. You need to give me. Who is the one who said that this is about the backbone of the man, the man and the ribs of the man, not the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women? Who is the one who said that to you? Well, as I said, you rely on. Don't tell me, well, as I said, listen, 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 uh, listen, 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 don't tell me, well, as I said, don't tell me, well, don't tell me, well, as I said, no, you see, you are a liar because all your Muslim scholars, including your prophet, says that this is about the man and the women. So, why you are a liar? Well, they don't know, they just assume that. Okay, hold on, guys, did you hear this? Muhammad, he do not know, he just said that he's a prophet, he do not know. This is why yeah. Muhammad he said that. You yeah, just I'm say that. I'm I said you're a prophet. I'm I said you're a prophet and the scholar. They say this is about the male and the female. And you said, yeah, well, sure. they do not know. Right? Hello? Yes, but the ayah, but the ayah is clear. The verse the is ayah clear. Is clear. The, the ayah is clear. The ayah says the water. The <laughs> ayah saying the water is coming from gashing forth. Do you agree? Yes, but okay. It's, it's, Read with, me, read, me, read with me. Read with me. What you, read with me. Read with me. What your prophet saying? Did your yeah. prophet explain it here? Says that the man water is thick and white, and the women water is thick and yellow, and the yes, baby will not. And there's a new okay. modern so, explanation. Okay. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Modern, modern explanation. Modern. You said to me the verse is speaking only about the man the backbone of the man and the ribs of the man your prophet saying it clearly that the word water is the water of the man and the water of the women so why you are lying well well the ayah it says the verse it says again hmm. so it, this water comes from something it means something and something so you can't say it just comes between the backbone it doesn't make any sense we have to say it thank you very much out. guys he said it does not make any it doesn't make any sense but this is against what your prophet is saying here i understand the quran does not make sense it's a stupid book i agree with you but you're a prophet he explained it and he said that there's a water come from the man and there's a water come from the women and the quran and you are the one who said to me does it say what it says there it says ma on ma. what the water here ma on and it's coming gushing forth it is thick and white for the man. It is yellow and thin for the women. Now I want to ask you, what is the yellow water will make the baby resemble the the, the, the mother? Well, again, it's not the the yellow water itself. It it what it has or, or its content. No, it is. I, it I, is I no, that. no. It is. Uh, it is. Water. Stop lying. It's in the front of us. It says the women water is thin and yellow. Yeah, yeah, I am. I am telling okay, you. Okay. The yellowish water. Okay, what is the water of the women? The, what is the water, the water of the women? Okay. The egg all the, ovulated, first of all, ovulation. first of all, what who whoever comes first will this will will will, uh, will control the gender of the baby or the look of the baby? Yes. How that can happen? Yes, there, there is explanation for that. I can give really? you. Really? Okay, give me the explanation so we can love together. Okay, hold on. Most of women, most of Muslim women, they never have orgasm because they are circumcised. No, no, my, my friend, it's it's not talking in about yeah, orgasm. No, it's about orgasm. It's, it's about that. orgasm. It's not lying. The stop lying. It says whichever of them comes first, guys. Does it say that? Why you are saying this is not about orgasm? Why you are a liar? How, how is this? How is this related to the orgasm? It I, is I orgasm. Lie. It says whichever of them comes first. Do you know what comes first mean? Comes first. Mm. No, there's an explanation for that. I no, don't tell me. Don't it. tell me explanation. It's, it's it's simple. Even this one need. It, it, I mean, come on. You see how hypocrite the Muslims. It says whichever of them comes first, and you are saying this does not mean orgasm. No, I I don't think. No, it doesn't say. I, I know. Listen, I know Arabic. It doesn't say orgasm. You do not know Arabic. Text. You do not know English. You have no answer. I am asking you. Stop lying. It says whichever of them comes first. Is the, are you insisting saying that this is does not mean orgasm? No, it doesn't. Mean so what is going to come? To so what is going to come first? Listen to me. So each month at the middle of a month mm. for a woman, mm. it ovulates. 
it secretes this. Uh, this is what your prophet saying now. This is what your prophet. Be honest mm -hmm. with me. Be honest with me, you idiot. It's about sexual fluid. He's saying the man water thick and white, and the woman water is thin and yellow. Which one of them comes first? Comes first. Why Muslims have no dignity? Why they have to lie loud in public? Everybody is reading. Everybody is laughing. Well, I don't know. There's an explanation for that. I can't say. I'm sure you can't get explanation. Muslims, you know, Muslims. That's what Muslims is about. We get explanation. You know, let's fabricate. Let us lie. Here we go. It's in front of you. Give me the explanation. It says whichever of them comes first. So now, what you will say to me when he said whichever of them comes first? It means that whichever of them he opened the door first. Whichever of them he opened the faucet for. Whichever of them he went to the backyard. It's talking about sperm, about water gushing forth of the man sexual. And not only that, you're a prophet. He confirmed that this liquid is a discharge. Let me get you more busted. You you know, you don't have a dignity, but we will we will give you some dignity after speaking to me. Read carefully with me. Read carefully with me. You're a prophet. He described a woman. She come and she saw a water in her vaginal part, in her private part. And Muhammad, he said, if she see the discharge, which he described, as we said before, yellow and thin. No, no, no. It, it, actually, it actually says that the woman had uh, what to dream. Yes, she had what a dream, which means she had orgasm. Hello? What would a dream mean? What do they call it with a dream? Do you have rain in your head? Okay. The, uh, well, 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 no. When you say what a dream, what does that mean? You open the umbrella and something come in your head? What a dream? What, what where, where is going to be wet? No. When, when well, 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 where where, where is going to be wet? Where, he has, he has an where, where is going to, where is going to be wet? Well, inside her. The, uh, her what? Uh, her what? Her mouth? Oh, no. her private part. Okay, thank you. So he said, if she sees that she has this charge, do you see it? Yep. And he described it as then he continues saying the same as before that the water of the women is thin and the water of the man is white and thick correct okay so that water is something we see in the vagina not as you muslims you try to play games and you said to me this is about the man only no i'm talking about the verse the verse, yes, the verse, about is, the the verse here is explained this is the same verse this is exactly what happened and you will you will notice here Muhammad wife she said to Allah messenger does the does really that happen because the prophet he never made his wife come the women no, no, the wife of Muhammad re read it it says oh messenger of Allah does that at really least, come at he least said, be, be he said, hold on hold on hold on elegant when you discuss the, I am and there's no elegant I say things as it is you know me how I'm talking and this is why you are here now answer why you are lying this is about the water of the women and the water of the man in the same time it's not a Christian prince who says that all Muslim scholars agree that this is the water of the man and the water of the man, woman. It's coming from between the backbone and the ribs, the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. Why are you Muslim scholars? They are lying and they are not smart like you. So, no, they are not lying, but they are uh, explaining it literally. All right. Literally. But so thank you very much. So you guys, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So literally, you just said literally, literally, this is what it's meant. So that's mean you are a liar because you change what is literally to make it as assembly for it to fit with your agenda. So literally it says that the man have a backbone and there's where the water came in from. And literally it says that the women have a ribs where the water came in from. This is literally. But now you change what is literally to make it fit with the science today. Correct? Well, even if, even if you want to say that uh, it's from the backbone of the man and from the ribs of a woman, still it, uh, by the way, uh, fits with uh, modern medicine. Wow. Because, okay, hold yes. on, guys. It fits with modern medicine. Okay, I'm asking you now. How the women, since when the women, she have a sperm? And how... Now, let me ask you this. And let how... You how this. Nah, no, 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 no. What women, if even the women, she have water, she have orgasm or not, still she can carry a baby. That is a stupid statement. It says whoever of them comes first. If the women, she this she a discharge. Muhammad, he described it as discharge. How this fit with the modern science according to Muhammadan? Again, again, I, I haven't uh, 
listened. You haven't listened. Okay. Have you ever heard of a scholar? His name is Jalalain. Yes. Okay. Is a Jalalain a Christian or is a bad person or he's a Jew? Is a Hindu? What no, he is? He's a, he's a well known scholar. He's a big, big, big scholar. Correct. Okay. Read with me what he says there. My friend, again, you you don't need you don't. You mustn't uh, read what uh, scholars say. You why, why, to ask about why Muslim suddenly? They don't want me to read this. Hold Muslim on, hold on. Say. Why you Muslim suddenly? You see, I showed you what your prophet said, and you, I got you busted. I showed you what the scholar said, and you got you busted. And you could not show me anything except your own fantasy, trying to give the Quran your own explanation. Can you show me an explanation? No, I'm going to send you the can you explain? No, don't link. give me a link, stupid link. It's about the man and the women. The link you are talking about, speaking about something different. This is an article fabricated by Muslims to answer stupidity of the Quran. No, it's it's an article with resources. No problem. Uh, but here the article there. Okay, okay the, the article the article there is speaking about that the backbone is where the sperm of the man coming from. No, it says that. Okay, the, I'm asking you now. Where is where is the science who believe that the backbone is where the sperm of the man coming from? Well, uh, during uh, <coughs> when when the baby is still in his uh, his mother's womb, mm. both the testes and the ovaries. What does have to do with the question? Still talks about the what does have to do with the question? What what does have to do with the question? I'm asking you. According yeah, to, I'm according to, what according to no, says. no, this is not the question. The question is that the sperm of the man coming from the backbone, from the backbone. Okay, my question to you is. Where uh, where do the both testes originate from? I don't know. And, uh, according to Arazi, it's coming from the, the it's coming from the brain. No, I I don't care. The, these are not doctors, my friend. You need to ask. Arazi is a doctor. Arazi is a doctor. Listen, listen to me. Arazi, and you Muslims are so proud. Arazi, 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 okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. I showed you. Your, okay, I showed you. I showed you what your prophet said. That this is the water coming from the man. Yes, and there's, water there's an explanation from the women. for this hadith. Okay. I'm willing to send the explanation to you. Okay, you no, 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 no. You said to me, you lie. You said this is not about orgasm. Did you say that? Uh, yes. Okay, but your prophet says that the, the, the reason this is the water coming from the man and the women. And the water of the women is something we see in her vagina. He said that. And we show it to you on the screen. And then he said, Whichever of them comes first, the baby will resemble the parents. So the water which we'll see in the vagina is what it will decide if she comes first, that will make the baby resemble the mother. If the man well, have I, orgasm first, well, that's what it says. Okay, okay. okay. Mm. Can, can I talk? Go ahead. So this, uh, uh, the thing she, she secretes or, uh, or secretes during orgasm, mm. Along with the semen, mm. it's also secreted from the man. They both together go into the uterus, <laughs> the womb of the woman, and then into the fallopian tube. Okay, hold on, hold and on. And then there, according to science. Hold on, hold on. Okay, let us let us show you how 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 how, how, how you, send the article. How you get the no, 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 no. The article you are talking about have nothing to do with our topic. I will tell you why. Because your prophet is speaking about two water, the water of the man and the water of the women. The water of the man is coming from her location of the not only actually the ribs it says a taraib do you know what a taraib mean yes it, it has uh, many meanings one no, of them no it has no 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 what a taraib mean is it is it true that the is it true that the taraib is the location of the necklace of the women in her chest that's true. Okay. So why you are saying to me it does not say women? If the taraib is specifically because, for the women, that other <laughs> means, <laughs> you know, you see how you see, you know, you just said that this is true that the taraib is the location of the necklace of the women. You know, you know why don't why don't you open the Arabic dictionary? No and problem. Here we go. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, okay. I, I will show you. Uh, I will show you what your Muslim because after all, hold on, hold uh, on. You see, you see, you see the, 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 the hypocrisy of the Muslims is beyond imagination. Let us see. Oh, my friend, I'm not being no, you are being a hypocrite because you just said at Tarab, you agreed. You agreed. Everybody heard yes, you saying because every 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 word in Arabic has lots of meanings. 
same thing when you uh, said about علقه علقه yesterday okay hold on hold on علقه means okay. okay hold on <laughs> which by the way all the things that علقه mean in arabic they all fit with we will go there science. we will go there in regard uh, we will go there and we will learn together it. okay all right i want you to read with me carefully please what i want you to read carefully with me it's in the screen Fine. this is the seer al-qurtubi and here he says and according to the arabic language you speak arabic i speak arabic what taraibu fi sadr tarbiya هي موقع القلا القلادة من الصدر قال امرؤ القيس hold on hold on and then he says hold on hold on and read with me carefully and then he says I can't see your screen I can't see screen. why you can't see the screen I don't know I can't see it hold on a second yes yes I see it okay so الترائب أي الصدر الواحدة تربية وهي موقع القلادة من الصدر قال امرؤ القيس and here he quote for you a poetry and then والصلب من الرجل والترائب من المرأة قال ابن عباس هو السين ابن عباس تو ابن عباس speak good Arabic yes he does okay قال ابن عباس الترائب موضع القلادة is that true yes okay who is the one who wear necklace in their chest the women right وروي عنه يعني ترائب المرأة Okay, can, look, can I answer you? No, no, you cannot answer me now. Look, it's getting more even funny. Does it say here, and it is coming from the hands and the legs? <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, this is madness, man. No, it's not madness. You need to ask doctors. Well, this is madness. Again, okay, you, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you, hold on, hold on, if you hold on. open, uh, what do you mean? What, what do you? What do you mean? This is dictionary. The this is now. the dictionary. Those are scholars. They speak Arabic better than you and me, and they okay. are giving you. They are scholars from which century? Okay, hold on. وَمِنْ مَاءِ الْمَرْأَ الَّذِي يَخْرُجُ مِنْهَا مِنْ تَرَائِبِهَا. Do you see it? Listen, uh, they are scholars from which century? It doesn't matter. All your scholars. Yeah, it does matter. It doesn't matter. No, actually, those uh, those they understand. Oh, let me let me let me let me, let, let me show everybody. Let me show everybody how stupid what you just said. So the Arab, who they are pure Arab, they cannot understand the Arabic Quran. But you, who is not even an Arab, who speak Arabic, after fourteen hundred years, you understand the Quran in Arabic, which is a language is not even yours. No, that's not what I said. They understand. So why you understand the Quran? No, you're special. That that is the case. If Muhammad so, himself did not explain it, Muhammad he explained that the water is the water of the women and the water of the man. Did he say that? Yes, and okay. according to science. So now, yes, according to according, according to, hold on, oh, no, not according Muhammad. to science. Stop being stupid. You're denying that the water in the chapter eighty-six is the water of the women. Did you? Again. Did you deny that the water, according to chapter 86, is the water of the women? Yes, I deny because okay. it's so, it's so, so you are saying to me, men. so you are it's saying to me, your prophet is a liar because based in that verse, if the water is not the water of the women, the Quran confirmed that baby is made only from the water of the man. No, no, you. no, Muhammad, Muhammad didn't say in that uh, hadith anything about where does this water come from. He simply said that there's. Uh, yellowish water for the water. Correct. But there's, there's but yellowish water. Hold on, hold on. Uh, hold, but, that not, uh, but that will not change anything. Let, let, us, let us go to zero. When you say that the Quran says that the water of the man is the one who will make the baby, that's that uh -huh. that's alone a proof Islam to be stupid again. Because why, why, because why because why the sperm is the baby? Because, the, the baby? because the sperm is not what make the baby a baby. Then what makes the baby? What? What makes the baby then? According you, to need, you. you need you need you need the semen and you need the egg. The egg the egg is going to multiply. The main okay the egg alone. Okay, the what egg, is the egg? So the egg okay, alone. what is the no no? I wanna go. I wanna go. With you. I wanna go. I wanna go with your lie. Now you just get your prophet busted. I got your Quran but busted. According to you, hold on. According to you, according to you, that Allah created the man from gushing forth liquid, which is coming only from the man. According to you. Yes, because if you read if you read the verse in Arabic and you are an Arab and you know Arabic, okay. if you read the verse in Arabic, okay. and you stop 
uh, it says in between, in Bain. So okay. it's something between this and this. My friend, do you see how silly it's you are? Do, 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 do you see? Do you see? Do you see how you, how silly how silly you are? It's like, not silly. No, it's, it's a silly. silly. It doesn't matter. You are the one who said to me, "I am. I, I'm going with you now. I'm going with your stupidity." You said that this is a water coming from the man only. Did you say that? Yes. Okay. That's mean the Quran is a stupid. No, no, I didn't say this. According to that verse, it talks about the man. According to this verse, according to this verse, we got it. According to this verse, Allah created the human being from a water coming from the man only. Do you agree? Again, what did you say? What? What did you say again? According to this verse, the water, yes. the water here is mentioned, which is the baby created from, is the water of the man only, according to you. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. That's mean the Quran is a stupid book, because well, the baby, because the baby is not made from the sperm. No, it's not from the sperm. No, it's not. How? How not? So what is the egg? Well, the eggs without the sperm, it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't matter. But the egg is the one is going to multiply, not the sperm. When the sperm go no, inside, the, oh, hold on, hold on. The egg, when the sperm, when the sperm go inside the women, when the, se when the semen go inside the women, one semen will go inside the women. Is the semen going to multiply, or the egg will multiply? The egg, once it it is fertilized by the sperm. So what is going to multiply? Is it the is it the egg both, or the sperm? Both, both. That's the a lie. That is a, that is a lie, my friend. That's a lie. That's a lie because the semen go in. actually actually it's not the egg nor the sperm it's the uh, combination of uh, DNA from both the egg and the but sperm. doesn't matter it is the egg you want to be more accurate. no it is the egg will multiply then by multiplying multiply all the DNA she have inside her but the Quran here according to you that the baby is made only from what is coming from the man you are and you are the one who confirmed that Yes, because the egg itself. Okay, so uh, why Allah is a stupid? Why Allah do not know that? Stay. Why Allah do not know that the sperm is not the one will make the baby? Let us go to the Quran and get you busted more. Let, the, let me, hold let on, no, 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 wait, don't wait, don't wait. Let me, show you, let me show you the stupid Quran. The Quran confirmed that the sperm is the one will make the baby. Here we go. If we go in the Quran and you are the one who mentioned this verse before. Yes, I know the verse. It okay. Says, All right. Okay. So uh, it says. Okay. What nutfa is? What not for the sperm? Okay, so this and is, also, hold on. Also, no, 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 wait, 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 no, don't, 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 wait, 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 one by one, one by one. Okay, the sperm here is coming from who? Where the sperm in this verse coming from who? Can you go to the Arabic? Uh, well, you do not know English now. No, I know English, but it's well, I, you know, uh, you it's know right. Arabic. You, uh, you don't remember the verse. Summa summa khalaqna nutfa alaqa fa khalaqna alaqa mudga fa khalaqna mudga idama fa kana kasuna. Okay, so. So what so, Allah, what Allah he made the sperm he made it what? That's that's why I told you go to the <coughs> Arabic because not for can mean both sperm and egg. Not for me egg sperm and egg. Nutfa. Not for me sperm and egg. Yes. Okay. Let me get you busted. Can I? Shall we? You can. You can. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. We can go and see the interpretation and all of them they agree with me not with you again you are lying but let us go to your prophet your prophet. again again don't, choose, don't tell me uh, don't choose don't tell me hold on from all centuries based on ah, what they so you all islamic stuff. explanation be my witness guys all islamic explanation agree with me against him because he's a liar now what about your prophet was he a liar well because, because hold on, your knowledge is hold, on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on you said that the nutfa can be the egg. This is your prophet is talking. Read with me. Okay. I don't know why you insist to read the. Uh, don't call me again, from Fadi, Don't call stuff. me again. You are just a kid. Why I insist to read what your prophet said? I mean, are you stupid or what? Why I insist to read your prophet? If what your prophet said is not valid for you. Is my word going to be valid? Why you insist to read this? Because this is your prophet. <laughs> so look at this comedy. This sad comedy. All Muslim scholars agree about the stupidity of the Quran. Because today they are ashamed of it. They don't want it. 
their prophet he confirmed the stupidity of the Quran and because of that he asked me why you are reading this why you insist to show me this it's your Quran it's your hadith it's your prophet it is Sahih so now this is was valid for 1400 years and now it's not valid for you because it's obviously proven Islam to be a stupid cult do you see guys the hypocrisy of this cult do you notice why you insist to show us this and supposedly he is expert in this one I asked him what do you like me to ask you and now he's expert this is the expert uh, this is the expert fadi it's your prophet saying that if you're a prophet saying that and still you don't want to believe or play in the game that you don't believe you know in your heart that this is what it says but you will not accept to say that Islam is a stupid cult and look what your prophet the genius dr. Muhammad PhD when the drop of semen you liar you say this is not the man remain in the womb of the women for 40 or 50 days your prophet claimed that that would stay in the womb of the women for 40 days 50 days why his vacation He's going to Hawaii and not far you say to me that not far can be the egg but the not is a drop of water the egg is not a drop of water it's a liquid it's a sexual fluid so everything everything well everybody everybody heard you you are the one who just said to me why you are insisting to read this <laughs> you know guys look at look how funny he proved me lying I'm showing you in the screen what your prophet saying and you say I prove me lying you showed us nothing this is why you cannot learn about the cult of Islam from Muslims they love to lie it is official and actually the Muslims not only they love to lie they've been ordered to defend Islam by lying let me show you how they do that legally officially this is the friend of USA website the King of Jordan the most corrupt man in history uh, now the website is not open no more this website is very moody you open it a second a second after does not work no more now I click it doesn't open here we go uh, now it's open thank God all right look guys this is Ibn Abbas the cousin of the Prophet the cousin of the Prophet this is the earliest understanding for Islam look what Ibn Abbas he said a Muslim cannot take non-Muslims as a friend he cannot speak to them with honor he cannot be truthful with them however if a Muslim he is sincere the one who is sincere and he take the non-muslims as a friends which means he don't oppose them he don't reject what they say he don't reject what they what, what they like what like I'm saying uh, even in the friendship like normally by taking the hypocrite and supposedly we are the hypocrite and disbelievers as a friends he has no honor no connection with Allah no honor no mercy no protection which means a Muslim can rape his wife kidnap his children and kill him and then he continue unless unless what unless you guard yourself from them save yourself from them taking as it were security saving yourself from them by speaking in a friendly way toward them while your heart dislike this here you notice how the Muslims is being ordered by Allah to have two person inside him one who speaks something and one who believe in something you got the point a muslim is allowed officially and legally to lie he is allowed to say something but he believe in something else so how we can trust a muslim teaching us about anything and we prove that to you today we show them what their prophet saying he says to me why you are reading this 
I show him what the scholar is saying why you are reading this and now he got me what he got me nothing I showed him even what the Arabic word is saying that the word tarib and he agreed that the word tarib is the location of the necklace of the women specifically which means when you say tarib you just said women by saying the word tarib What do you mean? I did not let you send you the link. What link? Post the link. Here we go. Everybody will laugh at you. Post it here. Coward. He did not let me send the link. <laughs> and what the link will do to you? What the link will do to you will save Muhammad from his lies. We showed the lies of Muhammad. Muhammad explain what's happening. You said not far. In the beginning, you said that this is about the man. Everybody heard you. That the between the backbone and the and the, and and the and the ribs, you say this is from the man alone. And after I got you busted, you start saying, "Oh, not far." The word "not far" can be um, men and women. You're right. No, it does not say that. You are a liar. And you're a prophet. This is why uh, you know the Muslims get upset because I use only their source to get them busted. Your prophet get you busted, and this is why you get upset. And not only that, according to Muhammad, the last process in the production, reproduction of a human being is male or female, and this is absolutely false. The first thing when the semen go inside the egg, the gender already is decided, not the last thing. It is the first thing. According to here. After the baby is fully made, the angel asks Allah, male or female? Do you see it? <laughs> male or female, Khabibi? Right? Male or female? And the sperm stay in the women inside her, the, the woman for 50 days, Khabibi. 50 days, Khabibi. What is that? Look like the, the the sperm of the man is going to stay inside the women for the whole month of Ramadan and 20 days after that. Khabibi. And this is why they can't answer us. And they, they won't. They, why you are reading this? Why, why are you are reading this? Why you insist to read the prophet saying? If the prophet himself do not understand the Quran, the same as when we said to him before, the sun set in the murky water, he posted for us saying that the correct is that the sun set under the throne of Allah, but the idiot do not know that is a prophet explain that the throne of Allah is above the water. So still the sun set in the murky water. He, he thought he is saving the ass of his prophet. You see it? The throne of Allah is above the water. So the sun set where? Under the throne of Allah. And where the throne of Allah is on the water. So the sun set in the murky water, as the Quran said. And not only that, Muhammad he confirmed that in a clear detail, as he says that the sun set in a muddy hot water. Do you see it? Even your prophet saying that. Now he will say to me, why you are showing me this? Mm. Show you that your prophet is a liar. So look at them. Don't show us what the prophet said. Don't show us what the scholar said. And by the way, if the scholar, if the scholar, he says something they like, they will agree with the scholar immediately. When the scholar, he says something they don't like, the scholar is a stupid idiot. He is from the 14th century, do not know. He's a donkey. Right? It was what? It was on the water, not... Okay, hold on. Let me call him back again. <laughs> <laughs> What a comedy. Yes, Fadi, you said it was in the water. What does that mean? 
Hello. Yeah, you said it, it was in the water. What do you mean? I don't understand. No, the hadith, the hadith uh, says it, it was on the water uh, at the time of the creation. Ah, so after so that, it, Allah, he took his chair far away? Yes, that, that's what the hadith says. Yeah, but, but, uh, but, but my friend, before the creation of what? No, I... No, 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 hold on, hold on. You see, just to show you that Muslims, they don't even use their brain when they speak. All right? There is water before Allah created the heaven and the earth. You missed the point. Okay, so where is the water? On the earth. But he did not create the earth yet. Do you feel like you want to call Dr. Phil? Hello? Yes. What happened to you? Are you okay? No, I'm just looking up the hadith. Uh -huh. Because here, this is 50,000 years before he created the heaven and the earth, but yet he's a throne above the water. Where is the water? Well, I don't know. Maybe it could be something. I don't know. He will go again. He wouldn't know. And, and, and next you will say to me, why well, you are reading this, right? No, I'm just saying that it's don't say, don't say, don't tell me, don't tell me, I do not know. You are a Muslim, you are a Muslim, and you, and you are a Muslim, and, and, you, are, and you are a Muslim accusing me of lying, but yet you cannot prove me lying. I got you busted, and you have no answer. This is stupid. How there is no nothing, and yet he created nothing, and there's no sky, there's no earth, there's no nothing, and yet his throne is above the water. Explain to me. Well, maybe he created the water first, but it says before he created anything. Which means but it, does, it doesn't have to be in, in the earth. <laughs> so, okay, it doesn't have to be in the earth. Okay, Allah throne is above the water. The sun set where? Uh, and well, the throne, of that verse. you see, no, hold on. In the beginning, when you called me, you said that this is in the beginning of the creation and that we got you busted that this is not in the beginning of the creation. That the water was exist even before the creation. So now we have water. We have the throne in the top of the water. Okay. Let us let us uh, you know, you know, I'm very good in art, and people they like my art. You know, actually, I, I was invited to many uh, uh, occasion to draw because of my hand, it's a magical hand. So here we have, let us make it in a blue, all right. We make it uh, uh, water. Here we have water. This is a uh, water, this is a water, all right, and now we have. The throne of Allah in the top of it. We will make it beautiful and sexy. So Allah will not be uh, upset from the Christians. All right. So this is the this is the, the, the chair of Allah. Okay. This water, the sun goes every day and sit under that water, under that throne. But what is what is under the throne? Well, uh well, there's uh, another hadith where it says uh, the sun prostrates before Allah. Okay, but under the throne of Allah. The same hadith you are quoting for me, it says under the throne of Allah. And you are the one who said to me, you remember I have your text, uh, the, the, a Photoshop of it, a, a snapshot. You said the correct is to say that the sun sit under the throne of Allah. Did you say that or I'm lying? Yes, because it, it's the same okay. narrator. So my friend, uh, okay, wonder, that's wonderful. The, so the sun, the sun, this is this is the sun. Let us draw the sun. Here we go. Uh, the this scholars is, agreed on that. Okay, hadith. all right. You, the, uh, okay, okay, okay. okay. You agree with that hadith? That. That's wonderful. This is Mrs. Sun. This is the sun. So the sun goes every day and under the throne of Allah. But under the throne of Allah, there's water. So where is the sun? But again, according to the hadith, it uh, prostrates before Allah. It doesn't matter. I mean, this is stupid. What prostrate for Allah? What does what does it mean? Again, again. Listen, okay. listen. I don't care if it's prostrate or not. I'm asking you. Where is the sun? Is it under the throne? You are the one who said to me but, the sun is under the throne. Do you deny what you said? 
No, okay. why are you mentioning the so word now, religion? Don't, don't, tell again, don't tell me why you mentioned. Don't tell me why you mentioned. Was, don't tell me was. why you mentioned. I mentioned it because that's what it says. So now, and you I know, I know, but hmm. the hadith says it was. It was. What, 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 right now, what do you mean? It was uh, above the water. Huh? The hadith. No, 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 no. Don't go there. Don't go there. You know, you you cannot do that game with me. You speak Arabic, right? This is the translation. It says wa arshuhu al alma. Not was, read it. It says wa arshuhu al alma. The translation is stupid. And he's a throne okay. on the water, not was in the water. Does it say kana? Doesn't say kana. So wa arshuhu al alma. Wa arshuhu al alma ana dak. Where it says ana dak. If you go back to the English translation, it says, My friend, uh, now you want to go with the English translation. A second ago, you said to me, Show me the Arabic. Now you want to go to the English because the English you like it, right? <laughs> no, 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 guys. Even look even at this hypocrite. Arabic, when I showed him the verses in the Quran, sense. he says, Show me the Arabic. He don't like the English. Even, even in Arabic, it makes sense. No, in Arabic, in text, it says, Wa arushuhu al al -ma, And his okay, own is on the water. Time. Okay, let us go here. Hold on. What about your prophet saying here? Here, here. Look, look at look, the English look. text. Okay, look, look. Yeah, yeah I look, 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 look. Look, okay, look, look. Was okay, okay. Look, 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 look. Your prophet mm -hmm. confirmed that the sun set in the water, which is a muddy, warm, hot, boiling water. Did he say that? Again, uh, this hadith, it's the same narrator, Abu Dhar. I don't care. So what, what's wrong with Abu Dhar now? Abu Dhar is a bad person? No, but why Muhammad keeps asking Abu Dhar the same question? Where does the sun does it, set? And that, does none of my business. Sun... Why he did not ask you? I don't care. This is not the question. This this is Sahih approved by Muslims, and it says that he said clearly that the sun set in the murky water. But 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 I uh, researched this hadith and found out it's not it's fabricated. It's not Sahih. Where it says fabricated, you are a liar. Here we go. You want me? You want the link? I will. Send Here we you. go. Here we go, guys. Does it say Sahih and chain? Listen, according to this website, it says Sahih, but yes. the scholar, uh -huh. according to the scholar, according to the fabricators today, they try to get rid of get rid of it. Okay, what about the Quran? Is the Quran fabricated? No, it's not fabricated. Okay, what the Quran said? Well, it says that uh, Zulqar 9, hmm. uh, he saw the sunset in murky water. It says he saw? Or he found yes. it. it. Says he, he saw. Found. He found it. He, he, he found, found it. it. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. When I say that you found, am I reporting something you found, or are I reporting something you thought? No, well, you're reporting something according to what I found. Okay. What I saw. No, not according to what I found, because Allah is not. He's, he was not told by Alexander the Great what he found. It is Allah who is. By the way, it's not. It's not Alexander the Great. I now, by the way, it's Alexander the Great because even your scholars agree that they are the one who is the one who built Alexandria. So stop going playing games. Now, okay. What what has Alexandria do with this? Because they are saying in the interpretation that Zulqarnain is the one who built Alexandria. Who is the one who built Alexandria city in, in Egypt? It's Alexander the Great. But what okay. has this uh, to do with the verse? Here, because this is him. You tell me who is. Okay, who is Zulqarnain? Well, some scholars say it's uh, Korsh, the Persian uh, king. Okay. Some say it's uh, so. Korsh, some Korsh was a Muslim prophet. As according to some scholars, yes, I, I don't believe what the scholars say. As, as I know, I believe that uh, as I know, Korsh, Korsh is a bad, I, as I know, Korsh is a bad person. What makes Korsh is a bad as a as a as a, 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 a prophet of Allah? What makes Alexander the Great a prophet of Allah? You tell me. Was, he was a pagan. You tell me. He was a pagan. And he was a bisexual too. Yes. What okay, so, so why Allah? so why your scholars they claim that he is a Zul, Zul is a prophet of Allah? Most the scholars agree that okay, hold on, hold on. let us go back to the topic. Forget about who is he now. Let us see. It says who is the one saying enter when he reached the sitting of the sun? Who is the one saying that? It's Allah. Allah. So was Allah told by Zul Qurnain what he found, or Allah is reporting what he knew? Either way it works. No, it doesn't matter. No, you have to tell me. Doesn't tell me either way. Is let's, it? let's let's go your way. No, it's not, not my way. No, it's not my way. We want as as the Quran teach. Is no, the I Quran. want to show you that even according to your way, don't it, don't, it still don't, makes don't sense play games. Don't wrong. play games. Stops being stupid. I want a clear answer. According to the Quran, the one who is reporting the story is Allah, and you agreed. Okay, 
Allah he heard this from the Quran or Allah he knew what happened to the Quran حتى إذا بلغ مغرب الشمس وال الله what is this this is the answer now sandwich what is that no it's, it's Allah okay okay Allah what give me a, a full answer Allah is saying what Dhul Qarnayn found. Okay, so it's not Dhul Qarnayn telling Allah I found this. It is Allah telling us that Dhul Qarnayn he found this. And there's a huge difference. But, because but what about the word Wajadaha? Wajadaha, it's mean he telling us he found it. That's it. Because he's talking about him. You speak Arabic, don't you? How but, silly but, are you? How silly? When I say it's not Allah what, who found it, it's no, it's not Allah who found it. That's it's, correct. It's, it's not Allah. That's that's Allah. perfect. That's perfect. That's not Allah who found it. It is Him, Zul Qurnain, He found it. But Allah is telling us what He found. So you said that Allah is the one reporting to us what happened to Zul Qurnain. It's not Zul Qurnain reporting what happened to Him. Okay, still. He okay. Got it so when I say to you, when I say to you, when I say I am Allah and I want to talk about Fadi, Fadi, he went to his house and he found his house in fire. Um, yes, I am, he I am, found it. He found it. No problem. You found it because you are the one who went there. I'm reporting about what happened to you. When I say you found it in fire, am I saying you found it, but it's not really a true find, or I am saying you found it and it's a fact? But at the same time, it doesn't uh, confirm that Allah like confirmed that. No, it confirmed that. that. It, con it, it confirmed that because uh, because Allah he said just to show, just to show everybody how Muslims they love to lie. Allah here they asked Muhammad about Zul Qurnain. The Jews again they got Muhammad busted as usual. That's why he hid them no, very it's much. Not the Jews, by the way. It was the uh, Jews. It was the Jews, and I can show it to you from the Hadith. And they ask Allah thee. Muhammad. I ask thee. They ask thee concerning Zul Qurnain. Say. I will rehearse to you something of his story. Who is talking? It's Allah. Okay, the story of who? The story of the Qurnain. So this is all is the story told by Allah and Zul Qurnain have nothing to do with the tale, correct? Yes, but again, okay. Allah is okay. Hold on. So why you are saying? So why you are saying? Why you are lying? Okay, Allah He said until when He reached the sitting of the sun. When Allah He said that. Is Allah he, doesn't confirm that there's a certain place for the sun. No, he confirmed he simply, that. He simply says what Dhul Qarnayn found. No, and no, so. no, no. Yes, he confirmed what he found, but he is telling us what happened to him. Dhul Qarnayn is dead, and now he's telling Muhammad what happened to Muhammad. It's, it's going to be stupid to say, until he found the sitting place of the sun, but there's no sitting place of the sun. It's stupid to say, until he, and he found the sun sitting in murky water, but there's no sun, the sun sitting in murky water. So this is stupid of you to say. So Allah here reporting for us, supposedly, he keep going, he follow away until he reached the sitting place of the sun and he found next to it, what, next what? Next what the sun said, he found people, correct? Yes. Okay. But Who is the one talking here until now? Allah, correct? Can I say something? Say something. When when Allah says uh, he reached the sitting place of the sun, he, uh, most scholars, even most scholars said that uh, it means that all Karnayim like, uh, traveled the whole earth. Hmm. So he went far, far to the west hmm. till he reached, according to the Quran, the place where the sun sets, and he saw it sitting in. in you see, Fadi. You see, Fadi. You Fadi. You are you you are a big fat liar because you keep saying according to the Quran, according to the Quran. According to, according to no, Allah. No, it's, it's not according to the Quran. Same. According to Allah, Allah is saying he reached the point, and you just agree that he was who was a traveling for many years, correct? Yes. Okay. So he see the sun set every day. Correct. Yes. Okay. So what but is the, that, so what is the unique now that he saw the sunset place? What is the unique? Every day we see the sunset. So this guy is traveling for many years, but now he reached the sitting place of the sun. Yes, I will tell you. Okay. Uh, it means that he reached farther, farther west. That uh, he reached a point where he can go farther to the west. He cannot go farther. Why? Like, like when you go, when you go to Spain, when you go to, uh, to Portugal, mm. you reach the sea and you can't go farther, right? Mm. So that's where that's why he cannot go farther. Reach the, that place. The Roman, they, the Roman, they have boats and they can't cross the seas. Well, maybe he had not boats, or maybe it was ocean. He couldn't go farther. Uh, you see, you are making you're making your own fabrication because simply 
it said okay let us continue let us see the stupidity if you go a few verses after it says then he changed another direction who is talking now Allah still and then until he come to the rising place of the Sun explain this one to me let's see how you want to play game with this one how he come to the rising place of the Sun same thing uh, by the way it's not my explanation it's what the scholar says. no that's not what the scholar says stop I can get you busted in a second Okay, and, so and look, guys, and look, and look at the hypocrisy. Look at the hypocrisy. A second ago, the scholars do not know. A second do after, know, the do scholars. Not know about the uh, scientific. It's just, just, just don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Now answer, answer. Okay. Until he came to the rising place of the sun, there's no yes, water. This, there's this no this ocean. Hold on. Went okay. To the east. okay. What is that? The east. Where is the east? What is the rising? It says until. Until. It's it's a it's a point. It's a point, and a place. Time yes. and a place. Until yes. he he reached. The rising place of the sun. What is that? Same logic. Same logic. When What's the, no, farther, no, no. Tell me. Don't tell me same logic. West, don't tell me. No. Explain to me. No explain, explain to me how there's no farther east. What farther east? He said this. The rising place of the sun. Okay. What is that? Farther east. Wh what is that? What farther east? I mean, if you go farther east, my, my friend, there's no east, there's no west. Yeah. You are being stupid or what? Every no, point, every, every point, every point. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Every point in this earth, there's east and west, but it's not real. So, what do you mean he reached an area where the sun arises, and this is the rising place of the sun? In the beginning, you played the game that he reached all the way to the ocean, and he cannot pass by. Okay, now he reach where? Where my passions? Where, where you tell me? Where is that? Where is the where is the rising place of the sun? Where is that? Well, as I, as I understood it, it means that even Matla Shams and Khurub Shams, it means that he like uh, traveled the whole earth, west and east. So he reached the furthermost points in the west and the furthermost points in the but east. But here it says clearly that he until he came to the rising place of the sun. It's a rising place of the sun. When you say to me the farther east, what is that? There's nothing it's called the farther east because always there's east. If you keep going east, always there's east. Yes, but uh, the farther east is limited. According to us, it's limited by the Adam. <laughs> Let me ask you: Did your prophet say that the sun rises from between the two horn of Shaitan? I think so. In a hadith. Okay, is that where the sun rises from? He found it. Well, again, there's a lot of things in uh, even uh, even in Christianity. No, 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 no. Is, is, do you agree that the sun rises from between the two horn of Shaitan? Again, there are things that you should understand it in a spiritual way. No, okay, what is the spiritual like, way? Okay, you tell me the spiritual way. What is? Let me, let me tell you something. Oh, hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't tell me a spiritual way. How the sun? How the sun? Arise from between the two horns of the devil. Give me the spiritual way. Well, the thing is, if you keep approach Islam this way, it, there's not no difference between you and an atheist. By the way, Abdul, don't, atheist, don't don't play atheist, games. I am asking you. Give me the answer. That's how they approach how the sun? The how the sun rise from between the the two horns of the devil? How is that? And Muhammad, he forbid you to pray at that time. It's forbidden for a Muslim. To pray when the sun rise already because the sun rise from between the two horn of the devil Well, the, uh, there's uh, an explanation for uh, this. Uh, okay, give me, uh, uh, I'm uh, not aware uh, okay, uh, okay, so I, can, I can't say anything. Why well, you cannot say anything? You said there is an explanation a second ago. Where is the explanation? Yes, there's an explanation. I haven't read this. Oh, yeah, I haven't you haven't heard. heard this. For sure there's explanation. The explanation in front of us. Muhammad, he said, did you see the Muslim says to him, what do you mean, prophet? Obviously, they understand. It says it clearly that don't pray in this time because the suns rise from between this, the, the devil horn. And now let's go back to the explanation you are talking about. When we go in the Quran and we say that Muhammad, he found where the sun rise. Is it true that he found next to that place people that are called Gog and Magog? No, it's not the place where the sun rise. It's uh, just a place somewhere. No, he found it there. Next to it, he found people. Stop lying. Read carefully. Okay, no, no. This okay. verse has nothing to do with Gog and Magog. The next verse... No, it uh, has to do. It has to do. It has to do. He arrived there and he found people rising on people. Okay, Stop lying. but not the, the place where the sun rises. 
This is, no, no, this is where the sun rises. Stop lying. It okay, says, let's, let's read the verses. Let's, okay, let's read, read the, the verses. verses. Read the verses, brother. Read it. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. Uh, until when he came to the rising place of the sun, he found it rising on a people for whom we had provided no shelter against the sun. Hmm. The next verse, so it was okay. Hold on, what, we, what, no, what in the first verse? So, where he found the sun's rising place, he found it rising on people that in that place, correct? Yes, with no shelter. Okay, hold on, no problem. So, he found the sun rising on that on those people, correct. You agree? Okay, so in that location, the sun rise on those people. Do you agree? He found it rising on a people for whom. <laughs> what's your point? I can't. Here we go. Point. See, guys, what's your point? What's your point? Look, what do you mean? What's my point? You say that this is not about a place, and those people they have nothing to do with the with the with the rising place of the sun. It has to do. He found that they are rising on those people in that place only in that place the sun rise on those people only Which is a stupid to say because the sun when it rise rise to millions of kilometers Secondly, he found them and those people they have no shelter of uh, 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 In the top of them which means supposedly they are in Africa So how the end the rising place of the Sun end to be in Africa? No, it shouldn't it, it, it uh... Uh, it's not, it's what, not necessarily in Africa. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, like what, trees, what is the place? What is the place? What is the place where people they have no shelter? If you go and read the interpretation, it says Munduni has set to run. Actually, there's no even shelter. It's about they are not wearing clothes, it's almost naked. Because it's so hot. Okay, it could be. Okay. So how that can be the rising place of the sun? But uh, why are sh changing topics? I'm you not changing topic. This, uh, okay, let's continue. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not changing topic. It's funny. It's stupid. And then he, that those people, they don't understand anything. They are stupid. No, yeah. not these people. Not these people. No, those people. The same people. And what? No, yeah, let's let's read the next verse. Okay. Okay. So it says, and we knew all about him. And then it says, then he followed another way. Hmm. Yeah, so but these people at the place where the sun okay, okay, rises okay. are not so, the same people. I will, I will go with you. Listen, listen, listen. Attacking. Okay, Abdul, I will go with you. So now, did he change the direction totally? Or this is the yes, same he, location? Or he this... followed, followed another way. Okay, so change direction now, right? Yes, he so went now, somewhere. So now, somewhere we have, uh, so, so now we have how many directions in, in the verse? East and west and what? West what, is this, and, what is this one? Uh, what is this one? Some scholars disagree here. Some say it's uh, in the north, and some say it's it's the south. Okay, so now we we, we do not know where it's going. This is why I'm saying I, th I, th I think this is the same location because still he's in the east the location. But anyway, he found no, people. But, but it says clearly from Atba Saba, like the previous uh, verse. Okay, he followed another way, but this does not mean it's a different uh, nation, is it? Well, the nation of uh, where uh, okay, we'll go with you. This is not really important. This is not important. Okay. Let's say okay, they are different nation. Okay, and then those people there, they said, and they are stupid. They don't understand anything. Correct. Okay. Okay. So how the verse after it says that they said to him, "Build for us a dam." How they are stupid. They don't understand the word, and then the verse after it, they are talking to him, and they are smart. They are saying to him, "Build for us a dam." Well, with all with all with all due my respect, you. I mean, it's simple. Uh, you could use a sign. You could use uh, anything to explain it. No, no it says, and who's uh, 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 they don't understand the word. They are stupid. They are okay, dumb. Okay, fine. But okay. even 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 the one who can talk, even the one who who's akhras, I don't my know. My friend, it's about. It says la yafqahuna qawlan, which means they cannot understand anything. It's not about them. They don't talk. But, it's well, about, they can't understand a word. No, they, they can't they understand. Can, yes, that's mean they are. That's mean. Different. That's mean they are foolish, stupid people. They are not smart. You speak Arabic, and you claim to speak Arabic. It says "la yakaduna yafqahuna qawlan." When I say what 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 fiqh I mean? What fiqh? What fiqh I mean? They can't speak the language of Bulkarman. No, la yafqahuna qawlan. Okay, or so, to okay I will go with you. I will go with you. They cannot understand the language of Zulqarnain. So how they said to him and translated here in the Quran, built for us a, 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 a dam, and they said to him, even the name of the nation, Gog and Magog. Well, they could uh, have used signs, <laughs> they could have brought the translators. Okay. okay, the final bust in your face before you go. 
where we can find the people of Gog and Magog, which is Al Qurnain, he built a dam between them and us so they cannot penetrate and go through. Where we can find this dam and where those people who they are by trillions by number, because according to Muhammad, every one of Gog and Magog before he die, he will have 1,000 child, they will reach the age of mature in a short, very short time. So, where we can find the billions and trillions. Of the people of Gog and Magog, which is jailed behind the dam, where we can find that? Well, uh, uh, you, you can find it today on the map, but oh. some uh, lots of scholars agree that they are on the North Pole, like trapped in there. In the North uh, Pole, in the North Pole, guess the Gog the and Magog. The south, uh, I don't recall. In the yeah. Gog and Magog, they are by billions. They are people who have their. By the way, Gog and Magog, they are not a human. They are people. No, they are humans. They are not a human. Don't lie, because they have an ear. Their right ear is the size of a tent. Go and read my book. You will find other other reference. It's not. They are not a human. Yeah, but the scholars. They, 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 they are not a human. They are not a human. They are not a human, and they are. They have ear. Their right ear is so big to the point they can sleep inside it as a tent, and they are very aggressive and they are they are bloody. So Gog and Magog, which is not a human, they are nation. Who will attack us supposedly they are digging now in the wall in the dam to go through is that correct yes yes okay and now your prophet he said that every day the people of gog and magog they dig in the wall non-stop and he said he claimed that in his time they opened little hole in the wall is that correct yes okay so 1400 years ago gog and magog they are digging in the wall why until now they could not go through well uh, Muhammad explained this in the hadith uh, hmm. he said that uh, Allah rebuilds it how, how what, do you, what do you mean well they dig uh, in the wall hmm. then uh, they go to sleep and Allah rebuilt it okay why why Allah is doing that uh, maybe until the day of judgment comes no that's not the reason I will well, tell you, I will according tell you to the same hadith, I will tell you why. According, according, according to the shock. same hadith, you are not being honest, my friend. According to the same hadith, yes, because, uh, because one of them doesn't say inshallah or the leader. Ah, see now, because I, you know I'm going to show it, so you decide yes, to say but, the truth. Okay, but it's the don't same you find? Thing. Don't, same, you find uh, don't you find that this is? Thing. Don't you because find? Allah, hold on, hold on. Don't you find? Okay, hold on. Is Gog and Magog? Is Gog and Magog are evil, kuffar, or they are not? Uh, yes, okay, so why they need to say inshallah? That's something I don't understand. <laughs> and then, like, like, okay, like I need to read more about this. Okay, and when Gog and Magog they say inshallah, Allah will not repair the hole they are digging in it anymore, correct? Yes, okay, why? Uh, again, when they say inshallah. Hmm. Why Allah will not repair it no more? Uh, because uh, I think at, at this time, when, they, when the, the leader of, of Gog and Magog says, Inshallah, uh, I think uh, the Messiah will come and uh, the day of judgment will, will be near. Will be what? Will be near, like uh, it's, it's, at the verge, it's at the doors of the day of judgment. Yeah. So Allah, Allah, okay. Allah, okay. Allah okay. Uh, okay, okay, like okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, okay, okay, okay. So Gog and Magog, they are a huge number of people. We cannot find their existence. We cannot find such a dam. And they are digging in the wall non-stop. And each time they dig in the wall, Allah he rebuild it at night, correct? Yes. Okay. Why Allah he created those people? Uh well, as far as I read, uh, no one mentioned why, but I think it's uh, for the same purpose for the Day of Judgment, where they will kill uh, like most of the inhabitants of the earth, hmm. and we will, they will cause destruction, and uh, okay. etc. And right. Messiah and his followers... Okay, so, but, 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 why, okay, but why we cannot find them? Well, you said it, they are not humans. 
So it must be that they are uh, well, somewhere inside see, the earth. They are not a human according but, to description, but according to many, uh, uh, because you know, you see, the problem is your prophet is a crazy person. Your prophet is literally crazy. So well, that's not to in, say, in some places, in some places, he says they are a human. In some places, describe them as not a human. So I, I, I don't know what to say to you because how, how somebody is a human, he have an ear which is big to the point you can sleep inside it as a tent. All right. So we can are. I ask, can I can we, I ask you something? We are we are ask, we are asking a question. If Allah okay. is God, if Allah is God, yes. And and Muhammad he said that the percentage of the population of a human being will be one to nine hundred ninety nine. Yes. Okay. What does that so mean? For each Muslim, there's nine hundred ninety nine. Okay. How many Muslims there is today? Well, there's about more than uh, one and a half billion. So you can uh, okay. multiply that by so, nine. Okay, that's by, uh, mean. Okay, that's mean. mean okay, uh, that's mean. Right now, right now, if you, if your prophet is is is, say, is saying the truth, if your prophet is saying the truth, if yes. you have, let us say, the Muslims only one billion. Forget about the half to make it easier to calculate. Okay. If the Muslims now is one billion, that's mean we should have nine hundred ninety nine. Billion, billion from yeah, the billion. people of Gog and Magog. Yes, correct. Okay, how come we cannot find them? Well, Allah says in the Quran, uh, well, this is, what does that mean? I mean, this is stupid. It, it means it means <laughs> that the, because of their huge number, uh -huh. uh, billion, uh -huh. they will be like uh, in crowded places. Okay, no problem, but why we cannot find one of them? Because they are trapped behind the dam. What do you mean coming. they are trapped? You know, now the satellite they can see what is under the ground. We're trapped where? But 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 uh, it's, um, it's, uh, it's uh, not what, necessarily what? between uh, on Earth. It could be some place that they are locked up inside the Earth. And they are just waiting to ah. They are inside the dam that, uh, or the or, or the lock. They, that, they uh, are that. inside the Earth. I never thought about this. I mean, where is it inside the Earth? What do you mean? Well, I read for uh, some scholars. They say uh, they are in the North Pole. Could be in the North Pole, inside the Earth. Yes, that's that's what is they say. Mm, I think this is true. It must be true. But inside the Earth, nobody can live there. I mean, it's. Uh, 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 I mean, how they but can? They are not humans. Uh, they, it. So, so what they are? They are worms. They have sex. They I don't know. You said they are aliens. Well, according to your scholars, some of them they say this, some they say they, they say the difference. Some of them they say they are Ummatayn or Azimatayn ibn Bani Adam. They are a great two nations, not not one nation, two nations from the people of Adam. Some they say no, they are because the description is different. How they are from Adam, but they they have a, such a such a body. So well, you always say you always say that they are not human. So let's go by what you say and, and suppose that no they problem, are problem. But where those are still they are they, they have a physical body. They are not animals too. They are not like any animals. They they have two legs, they have two hands, they talk to like us, which mean they have maybe they let us say they are an alien in this earth. But where we can find them, you said inside the earth, where inside the earth in the magma. Well, I don't know. Okay, just, I don't know. just to show you how silly what you said, the Quran says that Zul Qurnayn he built a dam between us and them. So how yes. they are inside the earth, but he built a dam between two mountains. Well, uh, it could be a hole, and this hole is no. It doesn't uh, say no. Stop, stop lying. It says he built a dam between two mountains from copper. Yes. And iron, correct? Okay, so this is cannot be down in the ground. They have to be behind a dam, which is in the surface of the earth. Yes. Okay. So now all your theory trying to defend the madness of Muhammad is gone with the wind. So what we will do now? Why we cannot find them? Here we go. I will show you this image here. Here we have two mountains, and Zulqarnain. He did build a dam. Okay, that's wonderful, Zulkarnain. And the dam is made from iron and copper. Okay, that's great. Here we go. We will build the dam. This is the dam. Can I say something? Say something. Say something. Go ahead. Say as many okay. something you want. 
even if, even today, even with the satellites and the mm. stuff that we can see from uh, above, mm. there are still people that they don't know and that they are, are isolated. Yeah, but we are, talking, we are talking about, we are talking or, about uh, 999 billion. Yes, it's it's a big number, I know. Uh -huh. Allah says, Stop repeating so the same verse because have no meaning. Crowded. Listen, we have behind this wall 999 billion so when you say to me that they are under the ground you try to cover a stupid thing in the Quran you are not being honest number two we have satellite who have a map for every inch in this earth and here they confirm to us that they are in the top of the earth they're not they are not hiding down in the earth regardless if they are human or goats let us say they, they look like goats. Let us say they look like elephants. Nine hundred ninety. Well, maybe they are in the underground. Who knows? Because the Quran says no. The Quran says he built up them between us, no. and you say that they are. They are. They are. Uh, uh, you know, they are. They are like digging in that uh, wall every day. Correct? Yes, and some um, professors said that they can't go up the mountains because uh, bad weather and stuff. Ah, bad weather. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> ah, Fadi, are you going to leave Islam today, Fadi, or not? Be honest. Am I going what? Uh, did you decide to leave Islam or not yet? Don't you agree that this is a lie? This is a big fat fiction, legion, stupid story? Be honest with me. Well, yes, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, same thing that that verse you mentioned about mm. uh, the Mufassirin, uh, like even Kathir and no, 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 don't, 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 Almost okay, so let, let okay. me ask you this in return. Uh, Don't ask where me did this. Muhammad, ask where did Muhammad you. come up with this story? Where he come this from, from a story? You tell me. Yes. All, all, all the stories of Muhammad coming from somewhere, obviously. All of them. How? Legions of people before him. This is why the Arab, they said to him more than Jordan six times. Okay, hold on. Yes, it's a legion. Yeah. Who, 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 who said anything about Gog and Magog before Muhammad? Well, the, the Bible speak about Gog and Magog, but Gog and Magog is a location. Is not a, is not what, what Muhammad is saying. Here, it's he's taken about the people, and those people they are aggressive as he's claimed. So Muhammad, the Gog and Magog, is exists before Islam. Well, Muhammad, you know, there's there's uh, another tafsir. But Muhammad, of Gog and Magog. no, don't make give me the tafsir. We give you the even the tafsir of Muhammad. He said it clearly that there are one to nine hundred ninety nine of you. So each okay. Muslim, Good. each Muslim now. Good. We have we have a thousand equal. This is why I say to you that Muhammad he said that before he die, a person from Gog and Magog, he will have one thousand babies, each one of them. Okay, there's there's another hadith. Uh, why I'm saying this because there's another hadith where friend, Muhammad says, hmm. uh, I don't know in English, but I've said it in Arabic. Hmm. Uh, uh, okay, hold on. Guys, did he say? Did he say that you will take their arrows yeah. and you make arrows it and shields okay. and use it okay. for uh, as fire for okay. seven years? Okay, thank you very much. This is alone is enough to prove to us that Muhammad is a false prophet again, because no. Gog and Magog. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Gog and Magog, they will do attack you in that in the judgment day, correct? Before the judgment day. Well, well there is two explanation for this. Hold on, hold on. Don't tell me two explanation. You are doing like the Shia. Are you Shia? No, no, I'm because not the Shia they say there's mm -hmm. Batin and Zahir inside and outside. So your prophet he speak about that you will take their arrows and you will make it as a fuel for your cooking. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And uh, not for, for cooking, uh, fire uh, as in general. For fire, general. for fire, yes. And uh, from their arrows you will use it for fire. But why in the judgment day, why we have missiles? We have airplanes, we have a nuke. Why Gog and Magog, they will attack us by arrows? Well, because they are locked up. What? Because they are locked up by the wall. Okay, but how they can, because your prophet said they will control the earth. 
Yes, because they are uh, okay. How they, okay, uh, how, 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 so what if they are a great in number? How people they have or a nation who have arrows they will fight America? No, it, it matters by the way. Uh, if what? you look back and at the second world war, the Soviets were 10 to 1. Uh, My friend, the they are not fighting the by and arrows. The they are not. So they won by numbers. They are no. They are not winning by numbers. But they, they won because they have weapon. If they don't have weapon, they will not win. No, no, you are wrong. Uh, no, the German. The, had, no, uh, no. Much, the, uh, the Russian. They were than, not. The yes. Russian. They were not shooting by arrows. Where are they? They have yes, tanks. Yes, they had uh, an inferior weapon uh, in Abdul, comparison don't, with the Germans. Stop being stupid. And by the way, it's not even it's history, the, it's Abdul, history. Abdul. 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 Stop being silly. They fight by tanks. The German have tanks. They fight by bombs. The German have bombs. They fought by airplane. The German have airplane. Here we are talking about a nation. They have arrows. And this is will be happening in the judgment day. So how they are going to fight us and control the earth by arrows. Okay, again, how how many people living today? Seven, seven million, seven billion, sorry. Yeah, that's mean. That's mean the total population of uh, of uh, the the Gog and Magog now is going to be it's seven thousand se seven seven thousand seven thousand seven thousand billion according to your prophet, and yet we cannot find it. We cannot find them. Well, well, uh, <coughs> according to this hadith, it <laughs> might be that uh, Gog and Magog are the uh, Mongols <laughs> that attack the Arab. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> this this could explain uh, the story of God. Oh, boy. Saying one of Sira, I... my friend, my friend, you cannot explain anything. You know the only the only explanation. Muhammad is nothing but a big fat liar, and he make stories up. This is a fiction stories to fool those naive Arab, and you know there is no way today you can believe in such a garbage. But because you are desperately trying to defend, I understand, you know. I understand you are you are trying to find find answers and you know and you say okay well uh, uh, you know they are going to be a huge in number and since when a huge in number here we go Israel is a small tiny country and all the one billion Muslims cannot attack Israel they cannot because they will wipe you out of the ground they have no well, enough to destroy the well, whole because world. they don't want not not that they cannot no they, they cannot your prophet he said it clearly that you have an order to fight the jews even if the jew hide behind the rock the the, the rock and the tree will say there's a jew behind me kill him stop lying yeah that's that's at the end of times too yeah this is the end of the time is what i'm talking but still, yes you, uh, we are not, i don't know if we are uh, okay. uh, at the door of the end but you see many stories about the the the, the end of the time Okay, here we go. This is the this is the uh, this is the hadith you mentioned to me about the arrows. They will use their arrows as, and shield of Gog and Magog for firewood for seven years. That means their shield is made from wood and their arrows is made from wood. Well, let me tell you something. Maybe uh, when the Messiah comes uh, and his followers. Take care. Uh, take care, Fadi. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? If we have nine hundred nine 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 hundred million, sorry, like a, a trillion billion billion uh, uh, of uh, the total, we have a trillion of them now, and all of them they have shield and arrows made from wood. The earth will be out of wood. There is no wood in the earth will be enough for such a number. And you are saying to me they live in the North Pole. In the North Pole, there's a there's wood and shield. Everything Muhammad he said is nothing but a stupid story. It's a collection of stupid stories. You like it, you don't like it, it's the fact. All right. Anyway, guys, I uh, my time is up. I have to go and do some stuff. I want to say thank you for Mr. Fadi for joining us. It was fun entertainment to speak to you, and I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for all the Muslims who believe in this madness. But it's clear, proven that Islam is a stupid cult, and Muhammad is making fun of your mind, making fun of your head. He don't respect you. A person who respect you, he will not lie to you, and his lies is big, huge extremely huge 
If you like to learn more actually about Gog and Magog, you will find a list of his stories in my books. And by the way, soon my second book, Quran and Science, in Spanish will be published, maybe in the coming 48 hours. Already is published actually, but we are waiting for the publisher uh, to, uh, to, to make it ready for order. So soon, this book is already there, the, the, the one you see in the screen. You can have it from Amazon. Uh, but the second book, which is translation for Quran and science, is going to be out very soon for those who like to have it. And please tell your friends about the Spanish book, the German book, the English books. Uh, and I'm so glad that most of people who they are buying my books are Muslims. You believe it or not, the majority who they are ordering my books are Muslims. And I'm so glad that no Muslim scholar dare even to debate me about my books. And as you see, we speak to Muslims, and I'm speaking to Fadi as, a, as I'm speaking to a child, because I'm always, when I speak to a Muslim, he have a mentality of a child, a kid. I feel sorry for them. I don't hate the Muslims. I'm not against you as a person, but I am against stupidity. This is stupid. I hate stupidity. How a stupid man can control your mind. So I'm really grateful that the Lord, he gave us opportunity to use the internet today so we can speak to millions around the world and tens of thousands of Muslims leave Islam a day, every day. You will not believe it how many messages I receive every day of Muslims decide to leave Islam. Every day. In the beginning, they resist, they refuse, they don't accept, but in their heart, and the same this guy Fadi, I'm sure inside his heart, he knew that this is stupid. But I understand, it's not easy. It's not easy that you spend your life worshipping a stupid false god, following a false prophet, and then you find that you were a fool. It's not easy to admit it. But time will come, and you will say to yourself, I better admit, better than being sorry. I was fool, but I'm not going to be fool again. And this is what happened to all the Muslims who listened to me. In the beginning, they cursed me, they called me names, even they threatened me. But after a while, they noticed that Christian Prince, he never said something, it's not proven to be true. He is using our books, he is re he's reading our reference. And this is why Mr. Fadi keeps saying to me, why you insist to read this? He don't want to read his prophet words because he's ashamed of his prophet words. Fadi, he just said, if you convince me to leave Islam, I will be an atheist. No, this is your business. But obviously, now you admitted that you are thinking to leave Islam. <laughs> you just admit it without knowing. You just admitted that you are thinking to leave Islam. Even if I leave, I will become an atheist. Well, the first step is to be an atheist, to be honest with you, because that will make you more close to the truth. You reject Islam, you became an atheist, and then you will find that atheism does not give you answers. And then you will come to Christ sooner or later. I'm so happy for you, Fadi, that you are thinking about it, and soon you are going to leave the cult, which is a promise in you, that you will have your fuel from the shield of Gog and Magog for seven years, who will use their arrows to attack you. I will be in my tank, and Gog and Magog, they will throw my arrows on me. Mm -hmm. And we will use our nukes, and Gog and Magog, they will shoot our nukes by their arrows made from wood. Uh-huh. And we are, actually, nuke now is a toy. Nobody use nuke no more. What nuke? Nuke is the for the, for the, for the, for the, uh, like, uh, a cave time, there's more advanced weapon. What nukes? So this is a stupid, silly cult. And what you can expect from a person, his name is Muhammad, who changed his name from Qatim to be Muhammad the praised one, trying to replace God, for he think he is one. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And please don't forget to download this video immediately maybe after 20 minutes from now, it's going to be ready by YouTube. It takes time a little bit before you can download it. Download it and share it everywhere. And let everybody hear the logic of Mr. Fadi, who was fantastic today, getting Islam busted. Thank you, Fadi, for being here.
Thank you, everyone. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again. Bye-bye.